We can do anything if we so desire and have the will to give it a go. We can do anything. Aboriginal elder Bob Randall is a traditional owner of Uluru. He's also one of the Stolen Generation, an Indigenous Person of the Year, songwriter, author and activist. In the documentary Kanyini, he tells of his life's journey and meditates on the consequences of colonisation in Australia. You know, I was taken away probably from Angus Down Station. They say between the ages uh, six to eight, you know, so I was a little boy already walking around with, and playing with other boys. And that's what my memory of that is. I guess I was like uh, a lot of Australians who didn't know anything really about the, uh, our history from an Indigenous perspective and certainly didn't have any Indigenous friends. And when I started reading about a lot of Australian history from the other side, I had this great desire to meet and connect with Indigenous Australians because I wanted to learn face to face. And so I found this one particular book called Song Man in the Mitchell Library, which Bob had written. And I was so impressed by the wisdom and the knowledge in the book that I wrote to the publisher and then the letter went to Bob and Bob called me up and said, OK, come up, come and, come and meet us. We've always been here. My people lived here for many thousands of years. That's what brings me back here. This is where my parents came from. I didn't actually have any intention of making Kenyini to mm. begin with. I was one of... I just had so many questions. When I came home, I found myself with all this fantastic material but no structure. And then it sort of dawned on me, I went, it's Kenyini, it was always Kenyini. That's the way we can pull this together because I didn't want to tell just, we didn't want to do just a straight fact film or a history film, we wanted to make a human film. And so this beautiful philosophy was a beautiful way to get into the history of Australia without it being too heady. The government took away Kenyini, which is the connectedness from me to four concepts. Chukupa, which is my belief system, my Gurunpa, which is my spirituality, my land, which is my Ngura, and my family, which is my Walcha. My experience with Bob, learning from Bob, I wanted to put on a film so others could meet Bob. Our people have always said that. We need, really, to get to meet each other, each in our own space. Media now, or should always, I feel, give voice to people who don't normally get heard. You know, these people that we don't see, the gentle, wise people in society, we've got to bring them up to the fore because our culture, I think, needs a lot of wisdom. We have one mother, this land we're living on, and taking everything from her is our mother. You and me, that makes us brothers and sisters. <laughs>